Medivh has received significant updates with today's patch. Find his details below and then head to the other updates. More health scaling, more health regen. Arcane Rift damage went down by 15%. And they added Master's Touch at base level. Needs 10 more stacks than before, 40 instead of 30. And once you complete it, you get 75 damage and CDR by one second. Okay, so it's, it's kind of like Master's Touch, a little bit harder because you get it earlier. Force of Will, eight seconds instead of five. Costs a little bit more mana, not uh, proportionately. And allies are healed upon, okay, reabsorption is inside. Portal, longer cooldown and disproportionately more mana, as in a little bit cheaper by comparison, but expensive. I mean, you don't cast it on cooldown. So essentially I think it is a pretty linear conversion since you generally won't cast it on cooldown. The movement speed moved from level 13 is now at level one. You can also portal mastery from Raven form. I wanna see his entire set, let's see. Oh, okay. He doesn't have that uh, longer lasting portal thing anymore. So way fewer portals. Unless they moved it. Ah, stable portal is 16 now. And there's still reabsorption, which maybe enhances it. Okay. So you choose between movement, crow, portal control, and uh, start and end port point portal control. This makes this talent better because you can stay in Raven. And... Health and mana regen, 75, instead of just mana, 100. That's pretty good. No more bird eye view. Mage armor is 25 across the board for all sources, instead of a few sources of auto attack. Let's see. Uh, and then, Raven familiar. Now also slows enemies. And it's each time they enter a portal. So portal swapping will keep adding damage every time they leave a portal. Interesting. Longer portals is later. Huh? Dust of appearance at level four. Greatly, uh, permanently increases the vision. Oh, they combine dust of appearance with the bird eye view. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. Good change. No more MT because it's on level one. Arc and Exposure. 90 damage. Also deals an additional 100% of damage taken. Up to a lot extra. Ah, uh, okay. Bigger radius. Oh, I think this is very strong now. It was close to being good enough to pick already. I just don't know if 90 is more or less than before. Mystic Assault, if Arcane Rift. Arcane Rift hits an enemy hero. Next basic deals 40%. Oh, okay, follow through and heal. Heal yourself, I suppose. Cool. Force of magic. Preventing a certain threshold of damage with single force of will. Grant 20% spell power for 12 seconds. You can stack twice. Wow. So what are you giving up when you go for this? You need to hit really good force of wills. And you have 40% spell power at best. Your cooldown is 8 seconds on your shield. And it lasts for 12. So you have 4 seconds to cast your next Force of Will. If you want to stack it. If you want to stack it. Which isn't needed, but if you want to stack it. So apparently the 90 is less than before. But it can deal more. 
due to the damage taken component. Thanks for telling, Gojira. Pretty interesting. Would like to try it. No more quickening. No more astral projection. The circle is now here. Bigger radius. It was already pretty big. And it's talented, not untalented. This is huge. Really, really strong. It was already very strong at 16. Enduring will, same thing, moved earlier. Cooldown reduction from 8 to the original 5 if you hit the threshold. A lot will depend on whether this threshold is too high, too low or correct. This I don't know. Without testing. Reabsorption is also earlier and it's 50% instead of 20% heal. Okay. Hmm. Arcane Charge, which was more damage on your next Q if you hit a hero, comes back. Of course, stacking with your baseline level 1 uh, Master's Touch quest. And it gives you 15% bonus instead of 30. Because it's stacking. Stable Portal. Moved from level 1. If you're wondering what that sound is, it's my dog. We're playing. Sorry for the disruption. Uh, but I like it. Stable portal, move from level 1. Reduces portal's cooldown by 25%. Okay, so from 20 to 16. Back, back to 16. And the duration by 50. So if that's still 6, just to 9. Basic attacks reduce temporal flux. Basic attacks reduce reduce heroic cooldown by one second. Hitting enemy heroes with arcane rift. Oh, okay. So it's like uh, it's like Rainer's putting on a clinic, which is for killing minions. But this is more easily controllable and more useful in team fight. Invisibility is renamed to Dust of Disappearance. <laughs> No longer cost mana. Okay, sure. Yee, what is this? What is this? Logan. Uh, okay, interesting. Looks pretty good. N no major grievances with this rework. Portal cooldown goes from 16 to 12. Why 16 to 12? Oh, right. Huh? Cool. Reduce from 20 to 16. Right. I, I misunderstood this. Sorry. Uh. Okay. Next. Anna. Shrike. Isn't this rework days old? Yeah, but it, I'm only getting to it now. That's why. A shrike. This is two days old, or one day in Europe. One day in Europe, one and a half, and uh, two days for US. Shrike. Ana heals for damage dealt to heroes. Of shrike damage, this is the poison. Healing dart, less. Biotic, only amplified for herself. And lasting longer. Yeah, I think that's good because all this does before Amplified for Anyone is synergize with people that don't need healing. Either she empowers double support comps or people with really good self healing already, like Diablo and Blaze uh, and Thrall. She empowers their healing of themselves and they need it the, the least. So it, it makes Ana best in situations where she's redundant. Which explains her good win rate, even though she's kind of a weird hero. So I think this is a really good change. Nano boost. Cooldown plus 10. Mana plus 20. Uh, that's fair. It was pretty short and it was the best. self cancelling no longer places it on the 10 seconds. Cooldown reduced. Mana cost reduced. Number of shots reduced. 
probably good, but it's still probably not very good. Ah, the Medivh shield talent said reduce to 3 seconds, yes? Not by 3 seconds. Right, so it goes from 8 to 3 instead of 8 to 5. Thanks for pointing that out, Squishy Toe. I should read better. Grenade calibration. Ah, it's amp heal again on everything. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't think she should be adding amp heal to others ever. But... At least it's just a talent, not baseline. Piercing darts, first quest unlock. Range. What is they nerfed it. Oh. Detachable box magazine. Self healing for Shrike now also applies to non heroes. Oh, okay. So she can hit minions and mercs and summons and monsters with poison damage to start healing. Hmm. But what was this? What was the first quest unlock? The second one was you get a box of darts with three darts. But what was the first? Oh, I remember. More poison damage from Shrike. <laughs> that was bad anyway. She's not a damage dealer. Okay, this is this is decent. So the helper a little bit self sustain. That seems pretty good. Aim down sights. Shrike cooldown ten to three. Okay. Fine. Okay, this is fine. I mean this is good buffs, but they're still pretty poor talents. Debilitating dart. Cool now reduced from forty five to twenty. This is a trash talent compared to mind numbing. Totally bad. Oh, okay. So this one was by, like infinitely the best. You had five stacks of Shrike that allowed you to uh, have minus 75% spell power debuff, which is insane. And now it's minus 50, which is still really good. It procs off of any uh, Shrike stacks, which is auto attack and some, some talent applied talents. And I don't know why you would ever go 50% damage debuff, which is a skill shot. Single hit, 20 second cooldown, when you could just stack it up to 50. Uh, minus spell power from your trait. It brings them more in line, but there's just no need for a talent like this to exist, in my opinion. When you have this. But this is, I think, damage across the board, not just spell. So they're closer together. But they nerf like the best parts of her, at least in previous build, which is her range and healing output. And nano boost. And amp heal on allies. So she probably got worse, but they said she has more than 50% win rate. But I think that's because people only pick her when, uh, when the comp is perfect. Because everyone knows now that Ana is pretty useless as a solo support. Except with comps that have like two, three self healers. And she seems to get worse in that situation now. So I don't know what her uh, role will be. But deserves to be tested. Or we could just uh, knee jerk and uh, burn her in a fire. Either one. No more block. Sonia, furious blow. Move from level 16. Every fourth seismic slam deals for... Oh. Every four. Okay, and there's no grace period. There's no grace period. So you always get the value. I was thinking like if it's like within 10, 15 seconds. But yeah, it seems a bit weird. Obviously, you'll try to prime it on minions to make sure that your fourth is always at the start of a fight. No. 40% more damage. Not bad. But probably not the choice. Tough as nails. Every 12 seconds, gain a stack of block that grants 75 physical block against the basic. 
Stores up to three charges, refreshes faster while Fury is active. Uh, what's the industry standard? Two charges, five second recharge. Let me check Muradin. Muradin. Block. Two charges, five seconds. Yeah, so she gets one extra charge at a much larger cooldown. So that means that anytime you have three charges in a fight, and then you need to wait up to, I don't know, 10 seconds till your next charges. Let's say if they get procced in like two seconds. And this definitely makes her weaker until level 10 because this component isn't active. But you do have three charges, this is pretty strong. This is very good for laning. It does take a long time to come back. This actually probably makes her a little bit weaker at laning than the old block talent, but better in team fight. 200% faster, so three times as fast, so every four seconds. Fury is not her heroic. Oh, right. Huh? Whoa. Yeah, but while Fury is active. Oh, the movement speed. Oh. Right. So that's when you cast an ability. Yeah, 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 thanks. I was thinking of Wrath of the Berserker. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> Don't fail fish me. Hmm. How long does it last? Let me check. Four seconds. A basic or heroic ability. Right. Hmm. Well, that seems pretty strong then. Okay, strong talent. Seems better than this. What else did she have? War paint. Okay. No more focus attack. Seismic slam deals. 0.70 uh d well these deals 1.75 as much damage so all targets hit and it splash damage travel 66% oh no seismic slam deals 75% damage to all targets hit oh so it does less damage than before even on the primary target deals 75% damage to all targets hit and the splash damage travels 66% farther oh, okay This is one of those positive, negative things. No more Merc Lord. It was pretty sexist anyway. It should be like mercenary, like Countess, don't you think? I felt really uh, offended by this one actually. That's good. Maybe it'll come back sometime as like Merc. Countess. M mercenary Countess. Yeah, Merc Lady. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why can't she be a lord? She can't. She can identify as one. I'll accept it. Uh, passively increases damage dealt to mercenaries by 25%. Battle Rage. Passively increases damage dealt to mercenaries by 25%. Mm. Okay. All damage. Activate to heal 10% of Sonya's max health. 30 second charge cooldown. Shattered Ground still does 100% damage to main target, just 75 to non primary target. Really? But this is how they wrote it. 
to all targets hit. So they write it wrong again. I guess I would have to test it. Mm. Activate to heal. Three charges. Oh. Oh, okay. And it doesn't cost fury. This is really good. But it does take a long time to get them back. And what's the cooldown in between them? Wait, I need to test this. Right now. Five seconds in between. Oh. Uh, right now, mate. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Hurry. It's really nice, the bonus damage on the mercs. Okay. Understood. Five seconds cooldown in between, and then follow through is gone. Ferocious healing is gone. Obviously, it's in the battle rage. Shot of Fury move from level one. Activate to instantly gain 50 on a 40 second cooldown. After casting Seismic Slam, your next basic. Oh, there you got that weaving in thing again that they introduced with uh, Hanzo and that Medivh has now as well. Cast ability, hit it. Well, you don't have to hit it. Well, Seismic always hits. Can't miss. And then uh, next basic. Okay. So it's like follow through, but only for a single ability. After shock. Spell shield are gone. No escape is now at 13 instead of 16, but only gives 20% movement speed bonus. So it goes from 10 to 20 instead of 10 to 25. Roll wound will deal more damage to people that are low. This damage does not generate additional healing. Hmm. Is that healing thing still there? The 13 healing? No. I see. Wait, life funnel is at 7. They didn't say it here, but life funnel is apparently at seven. Well, let's just look in the try mode. Maybe it's better to look here. Poison spear, life funnel, 35% more heal, shot of fury. Oh yeah. Cool. Uh, wrath, 40%, reduce the damage. Last 15 seconds. Okay. Same, same. And then, Mystical Spear. Reduce the cooldown and always pull. Same. Rowan deals more damage if they're low. No extra healing. No escape. Okay, got it. Nerves of Steel is the newly nerfed version. As from before. Rampage. Increased basic attack damage by a quarter. Basic attacks reduce the, reduce the cooldown of Ancient Spear. Okay. You attack at... 
1.5 per oh wait 125 per second so that's five attacks in four seconds eight attacks ten attacks in eight seconds if you have full attack speed reduced by seven and a half yeah uh, maybe at most you can do like eight autos to reduce and then you reach the next one one two three four five six seven eight Eight autos, eight and a half autos, and you get your next. Shave off three seconds. Six seconds. Shave off six seconds at most. So anywhere from 0.75 to six seconds if you attack at normal speed. And you deal more damage on your basics passively. Pretty interesting. Uh, Ariad Crater. Leap leaves behind an impossible crater. Reduces the cooldown as well. To 50. Wrath. Increases maximum health by 10%. That's new. And grants Striding Giant. Which can be activated to become unstoppable for 2 seconds. 30 second cooldown. It doesn't have its own timer. The, the two seconds. Normally you get two bars, but it's just one bar. Composite spear. Increases ancient spear. <laughs> okay. Uh, increase ancient spear range by 50%. Seems less. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, it's 50%. I guess it's pretty good. Oh! Yeah, it's 50. It's a uh, simple geometry. You wouldn't think that the Sonya can get you from here. <laughs> what? Okay. And hitting an enemy hero reduces. Uh, increases your armor. For 25. For 4 seconds. Or you just go for the ignore pain. But it's only 60 armor now instead of 75. Huh. This is a uh, much better talent diversity than Sonya had. Each of the four things does something unique. This is the biggest protection. This is still some protection, but also range. This is some unstoppability and some health. Permanently. No, not permanently. When you're wrath. And the impossible crater. Yeah, that's some cool changes. I like uh, the new Sonya Mediv quite a bit. I don't know about the balance yet between different talents. And I must admit I was a little wary of a Sonya rework, but it seems a little bit more interesting. She still had a lot of alpha talents, so you know that uh, you know that they were gonna do it. Tracer buff, by the way. It's eye watering. Eye watering. 